currently I'm teaching three classes at uh, Yale, uh, a large lecture class called The Next China. It's a great uh, discussion about the transition that's going on in China. I teach a second class in the spring called The Lessons of Japan. And um, in that course, we spend about half the semester trying to figure out what happened to the Japanese miracle of post-World War II. It, it was strong and then it's collapsed. And then the second half of the class is we try to distill some important lessons from the Japanese experience uh, and figure out if they're relevant for other countries like um, uh, the United States or Europe or even China. And the third class I teach is a unique course at Yale. It's called the Macro Debate where I co-teach it with a brilliant theoretical economist at Yale. Twice a week for 13 weeks, uh, we debate the burning macro issues uh, in the global economy, and we tear each other apart, and the students like it. It's good theater, but it's also an opportunity to really stress test the, the, the modern theories against what is going on in the world economies. You know, the Hong Kong student uh, who comes to Jackson gets an excellent opportunity to understand uh, not just the unique role that Hong Kong plays in the world of, um, uh, sort of international finance and international commerce, but really understands uh, the interplay between Greater China, which Hong Kong is central to, uh, and the rest of Asia as well as the, the rest of the world. A great platform to understand the engagement uh, of Hong Kong and how someone who's dedicated to global affairs and global service can make a real difference. I think um, for the, the Hong Kong student who's really focused on developing a deeper understanding for the intersection between Hong Kong and China, Greater China and the rest of the region, Greater China uh, and the rest of the world, uh, a program like ours uh, offers an excellent opportunity to understand the role that global affairs can play in shaping these um, relationships.